Hello Capricorn, welcome to TJ Jared and Under. Gonna do the love energy coming towards you as at now. See what's going on, hey? This is a general reading, not a private reading, so take what resonates, leave the rest. If it doesn't resonate at all, you can check out your other placements or check out my playlist and see if something resonates for you there. All the decks are pre-shuffled and are listed below in the description box. Let's go. Give me three cards for the love energy coming towards Capricorn, please. One more, please. Thank you. Alright, let's get some clarifiers. And we'll see what's going on. What's going on? Is that a song? I think it's a song. <clears throat> Hope you all had a good weekend or are having a good weekend, wherever you may be. Okay, clarify card number one for the love energy coming towards Capricorn, please. Okay. Oh, so now I need know that because of the back of the card. <laughs> oh, that one. That one. And these ones. Okay. Clarify card number three. We have romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. Ooh, someone's got the feels for you, Capricorn. Ooh, Knight of Wands. <laughs> Wanting that passionate action with you. Yeah, those feelings are, um, yeah, they're on fire. <laughs> <laughs> I'm hearing a Madonna song. I'm hearing... Um, I think it's burning up. It's called. Um, I'm not sure, but I'm hearing I'm on fire, burning up for your love. I'm burning up, burning up. But I'm, but I heard that I'm on fire, and then burning up for your love. So yeah. <laughs> anyway, old song. Oh, now I'm hearing that. Do you want to see me down on my knees, bending over backwards? Now, would you be pleased? <laughs> Okay, Wait, worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your love life. So they're waiting for something here. Waiting for the right time. Ooh, five of cups, three of pentacles, the tower, wow. The eight of wands and the four of wands. <sighs> Worth waiting for. They want things, I'm getting, they want things to change suddenly because they want this communication to happen towards something stable with you, right? So they want things to change have this passionate communication with you about something stable. Wow. They're waiting, but mm, they're worried they might end up disappointed if you start working on something with someone else. They hope things suddenly change and you two get to talking and create something stable. Yeah. Hmm. But they're hot for you. K 
keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. Okay, so they're keeping an open mind that you're really, you know, you're not the usual type. You're something different. Hmm. The Hermit. Oh, having a good think about you. Eight of Pentacles. Hmm. And the Lovers. So, ah, because you may be a bit different to their usual type, they're doing some self-healing and self-work here. Work, you know, yeah, making sure that everything's in order within themselves. Working really hard on that. So they can put that work in to a commi committed soulmate connection. Yeah. So it's like, hmm, Capricorn's someone a bit different. I better get my act together here. Because, yeah, if this is going to be a soulmate connection, I've got to be ready to put the work in for that. Hmm. Ooh, okay. <laughs> Bottom of the deck. Ooh, true love. This is a romance of a lifetime. Retreat. It's time to disconnect from the world. They want to sneak off with you. Soulmate. Oh, wow. Soulmate. Yes, this is your soulmate. And let go of control issues. Allow this situation to unfold naturally. Wow. Yeah. They know they need to let this unfold naturally. They see you as their true love soulmate here. And they want to run away with you. Well, they want to disconnect from the world and just spend time with you. Oh, did you have something like this last week? I can't remember. Mm. Two of Wands, the devil. There you are. What's your card, Capricorn? I know it's not good that that's your card, but hey, if it comes up in your reading, it's okay. Knight of Pentacles and the Four of Cups. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, they're um, at a crossroads here about you. Should they come forward with some stable action or will you, are you going to just reject their offer? Oh, they're worried you might reject their offer and they'll be left standing there, Capricorn. You want my cup? No. Oh. <laughs> Or do they come in with that stable action towards you? They're not sure. <sighs> They're waiting for the opportunity to talk to you, for something to change so they can come and talk to you. Wow. Well, mm. poof, they're hot for you. It's a true love soulmate. Yeah, wow. And we've got the lovers here to back that up. So, yeah. This is like a nice Capricorn. All right. Yeah, you're probably thinking it's a miracle. <laughs> Give me three more cards for the love energy coming towards Capricorn, please. Two more, please. Oh, there we go. We got them. Clarifiers. While you're waiting, feel free to hit the like and subscribe and the bell. That'd be awesome if you could do that. I'll get these clarifiers out. Clarify card number one for the love energy coming towards Capricorn, please. Whoa. Okay. That one nearly hit me in the face. Number two. And card number three. Okay. Well. 
All right. So they have air, spirit, knowledge, mm. information. They want to know all about you, Capricorn. Oh, look at that Ace of Cups. Do you want their cup of love? Nine of Wands. Oh, or will you be defensive? Oh, Justice. And the King of Cups. Wow. Yeah, they, they want to know. They want to know. Will you accept, will you, do, are you looking for love? Or are you guarded against letting anyone in? Are you looking for that balanced connection? Can that, yeah, happen? And should they just keep their emotions under control and not, not express their feelings? Hmm, yeah, they want to know. Eagle Spirit Freedom. Hmm. I'm actually hearing from this slot here from Jungle Book <laughs> or Tarzan, the Disney movie. I'm hearing that. I want to know. Can you show me? That's what I'm hearing. Hmm. All right. Eagle Spirit Freedom. Knight of Swords, ooh, and the Queen of Pentacles. <laughs> it's you, Capricorn. <laughs> but I'm laughing because it's quick, truthful action towards loving, stable commitment. <laughs> they want to find, they want to know, they want to know really fast. Freedom. It's like if you, yeah, they they need to know the truth from you, even if it's like from you. If you don't want this commitment, that's fine. They'd rather you like rip the band aid off, <laughs> like fast. Give me the truth fast. Cut me free, or is this gonna be something? They just want to feel free of the not knowing. Yeah, they want. Truthful answers fast about how you feel to free themselves of this doubt because, <laughs> yeah, foggy bog patience. Because this waiting is, is, yeah, they're in this foggy bog and they can't see, they can't see, yeah, but you know, patience, they're waiting. Seven of Pentacles. Hmm. Ten of Cups. Yeah, they want to invest in this and have long-term love with you. They're patiently waiting for that. Judgment. Hmm. But they know it's your judgment call. Four of Swords. And they, and yeah, well, they can't do anything that's doing nothing. They can't do anything about long-term commitment. Look at that. Ten of Cups and Ten of Pentacles. This is what they're patiently waiting for. But it's your judgment call. They can't move or do anything about something long-term with you. Page of Pentacles until they can talk to you about it. <laughs> They're waiting for this opportunity to talk to you, I told you. <coughs> yep, waiting for that things to change so they can talk to you, whatever the situation is. Spirit Guardian of Winter, retreat. Ooh, a retreat again. They want to do that with you. Dragonfly Spirit, change. Rainbow Waterfall, miracles. And Secret Spring, success. <coughs> Sorry. So they've had to retreat, they've retreated from you at this, at the moment, but they want that to change. They think it might take a, 
a miracle for them to be successful at approaching you. Well, successful at having that opportunity to approach you. <coughs> you could be busy at work. Sorry about the coffin. <coughs> Alright, so we've got three of ones. Yeah, they're waiting. Waiting, 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 waiting. Nine of Pentacles. <coughs> <coughs> and they're single, stable, grounded, waiting. The world. <laughs> and the Page of Cups. Yeah, waiting for this cycle to end so that they can come and speak to you of love. Oh. Oh. I'm hearing come and tell you how they feel. Yeah. Mmm. Mmm. Wow. I'm not sure what's going on, but yeah, there's a reason that they're waiting. Maybe it was in last week's reason, the last week's reading, the reason why they're waiting. Yeah, look, I can't right now. Yeah, they're waiting. They can't right now. But uh, I'm sure it was your sign that they were dealing with something that they had to heal from or something they had to sort out before they could come towards you. Well, yeah, they've just got to wait for the right time. Whatever that was last week is, yeah, they're waiting for that to be sorted before they come. All right, give me at least three cards for what this love energy would like to say to Capricorn, please. Okay, we got four. One, two, three, four. I'm afraid to reach out to you. Yeah, I think they're a bit nervous. They're a bit nervous. Because you might cut them off. <laughs> you might not want to... Yeah, you might not be interested. But, yeah. They're a bit afraid to reach out. Lying was easier than telling the truth. Mm. They're lying to themselves here rather than facing the truth that they need to reach out or they're going to lose you. See, this is to do with this fear of reaching out, but that's a lie. They're not afraid, but they are afraid. If, you know, if they tell themselves the truth, well, look, if you don't reach out to Capricorn, you're going to miss out on Capricorn. So, you know, face the truth that, yes, you might be rejected, but you might not. But it's easier to just lie to themselves and, oh, yeah. I want you next to me. See, they do. They want you. They want you bad, Capricorn. <laughs> They're right for you right from the start. I know I messed up everything. They feel like that, yeah. They feel like they're going to mess it up. They think they're just going to mess it up. Not a relationship. I think that'll be fine once they know how you feel and it's mutual. If that's the case, um, they'll be fine. But I think if they come to talk to you, they feel they're going to mess it up. Like, you know, not be able to talk. Or, like, they're really nervous. <laughs> but they're really hot for you. <laughs> and they want some... Look, we had the Ten of Cups and the Ten of Pentacles. <laughs> They want this true love soulmate. Come on. This is someone who really wants something real with you. So, hey. I don't trust you. Ooh. I love her. That's not to you. They don't trust themselves to speak. They don't trust themselves to speak. They would love to hold you. They are single and ready for love. Definitely. I'm sorry I lied to you. Hmm. They feel they're lying to you by not telling you <laughs> that they, they're interested. Because maybe, um, 
Well, they might be. Yeah, they. I reckon they're acting like they're not interested. Because they're waiting for the right time to tell you how they feel. But it's not the right time to expose that. And they're afraid of... Yeah, and that's why they feel like they've messed things up, because... They're like, no, nah, no, nah, not interested in Capricorn. But they are, fully. <laughs> oh, silly person. It's just silly. Like, it's not it's not anything malicious or negative. And, that you know, once it all comes out and you talk... You f if you feel the same way about each other, it'll be beautiful. Yeah, it's just... They're very scared, <laughs> afraid to reach out, lying to themselves, fearing they're going to mess it up, not trusting within themselves. Yeah, they're, yeah. Mm. they're worried. <laughs> if you, yeah, not interested. Yeah. All right, let's get a message for you, Capricorn. Close out the reading. What does Capricorn need to you know? What does the universe want to tell them? Okay, you got two cards. You got Eight of Arrows, Struggle, ooh, which is Eight of Swords, Struggle, ooh, with what? Seven of Arrows, which is Seven of Swords, Insecurity, ooh, are you struggling with some sort of insecurity? Oh, struggling with some sort of insecurity here. Oh, I don't like that. If you are struggling with insecurity, um, <coughs> seek help from whoever you need to. Struggle. Um, I keep hearing this is someone that's close to you. It's not this person on the table. There could be somebody around you that's struggling with insecurity. Because I don't think this is you. I think there's someone around you that's struggling with their insecurities. I don't think that's you. Let's go bottom of the deck. King of Stones, horse. Oh, sorry, Knight of Stones, horse. Yeah. Which is the Knight of Pentacles. Stable action. But hey, this isn't like they're not, you know, this horse is bucking and kicking and it's raring to go. <laughs> it's not like the normal Knight of Pentacles. I'm hearing get on your horse. Get on your horse. Not your high horse. <laughs> get, yeah, get off your high horse. Um, get on your horse. Get going, is what I'm hearing. Get on your horse and get going. Um, okay, I'm hearing don't struggle with other people's insecurities. It's not your, it's not up to you to sort out other people's insecurities. Alright. I mean, you can show them that stable action. Actions of stability. But it's not up to you to stabilise them if they're struggling with insecurity. Unless that's your profession. Um, you can advise them. And, you know... Advise them of the actions to take towards stability. But, um, it depends who it is. But, yeah, um, yeah, I'm feeling it's someone around you is struggling with insecurity. I don't think it's you. And if it is you, I'm sorry, Dale. Um, Everything's going to be okay. Well...
It's hard to say that these days, isn't it? <laughs> you know what I mean? Hmm. Yeah. Wow. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know what to say. I think we're all struggling with the insecurity right now, but. Hang in there, Dale, because, look, stable action. Stable action is here. Actions of stability. Yeah, take action towards becoming more stable, finding that security, working through that struggle. Whatever it is. Oh, look, and under that is the lovers, which I'm hearing you've got, the forest lovers, which I'm hearing you've always got a choice. You always got a choice. And then under that is the, <clears throat> the, the Four of Bows, which is a celebration, Four of Wands, followed by the star. The Pole Star. And that's as far as I'm going under that deck. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so... I'm hearing Kate Bush's Don't Give Up that with that song with, um, what's his name? Oh, not Don Henley. Peter Gabriel. Is that his name? Peter Gabriel. He does that song, Sledgehammer. Anyway, yeah, I'm hearing that Don't Give Up song. So, Don't Give Up, all right? Lots of love to you. Okay, well, that's your reading. Um, yeah, so this per maybe they're waiting for you to deal with whatever you're going through and they don't want to make things difficult. Um, yeah, you know your situation anyway. This won't be for everybody, but mm, someone out there needs a bit of loving, so let's send it to them, hey? All right. Well, that's your reading. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. Be nice in the comments. But yeah, this is, yeah, someone's hot for you in there. They'll be coming in soon. <laughs> Alright, well thanks for watching. All the best. Take care. Good luck. And I'll catch you later.